so now i will create workflow and workflow scheme for the project currently this workflow and workflow scheme is using i want to create the another one how to create the workflow you need to go to the workflow here already workflows are there i want to create the new one let's give anything name workflow for jira test click on add this workflow got created you can see only one status are there so how to add another status let me click on add in progress click on allow all transition means you can go to in progress from any of the status which are available in your project i will show you okay and the closed one okay these three status i got create i have created okay so if you want to remove this open open is already there i don't want open i want to do just click on here to do click on add i want to remove to to do what you have to do is click on it take it from here and do it like this now click on open remove status it will remove now to do is there i want the in progress one and the closed status okay from to do i want to go in progress so you have to do this transition just give any name whatever you want i am giving start progress start progress click on add okay this is done closed closed like this you can do to do in progress and close so this workflow got created now i want workflow scheme click on add workflow scheme click on add okay this workflow already came i want on this one i want my one one which i have created workflow ajira test you can see your name over here because last modified by me only i want this workflow for request issue type just select the request click on finish the workflow is here click on control c come here click on workflow scheme switch scheme workflow scheme for jira click on associate this scheme got changed okay now this is using new workflow scheme this one if once you will refresh this page you can see this used by one of the process let me create the ticket workflow test create you can see i can see only start pro i cannot see close directly because in my transition in this you can see there are two of the workflow active one inactive one active means is if it's used by any of the project it will be active if it is uh, it's inactive means if it's not used by any of the project so like see you can see these are the inactive these two projects got deleted okay so these are archive project for me okay this is my workflow let me click on view you can see only i can go from to do to in progress then in progress to close i cannot go directly in the close editor click on start progress now i can go to close okay i cannot come if i want to reopen this ticket how i can do i cannot do because there is no transition are available how to add the transition click on edit go up here i want this transition from here to here so now i am clicking reopen reopen click on add 
I have added this transition but you can see this is not yet published it's in draft so it will not work once you will click on publish I don't want the backup copy of this click on publish come you to your issue refresh the page you can see reopen is there once you will click on reopen I can see I am in the to do status but still I cannot go to the close directly so remember we talked about all transition so here if you don't want like this so just delete the transition if you want okay or else let me remove it first or once you will click here you can see all status once we'll click here all status click here all publish no publish okay refresh the page so i can see all the status to do in progress and course in the, in the one workflow so anywhere in any which status i am there i can go to to do in all the list because i have added all conditions go to project setting here in this workflow you can see which workflow is used by which issue type so this workflow is used by story and unit test this workflow only used by request once we will open the workflow you can see how many issue type are using and how many projects are using if it's used by 10 of the projects so once you are doing changes in one of the project it will change in all 10 projects so before doing the changes you need to create a copy of the workflow then associate with the project otherwise it will change in all the projects please consider thank you for watching